It's no box art box time again. Hello and welcome back to Jenna Gets Creative. Today I'm going to do the April 2022 sketch box. For the most part I'm going to be doing it the premium offering but we will go through both tiers of what was in sketch box. Shout out to Christy Smith here on YouTube. She has already done the April box as a no box art box and shout out to Miss Amy M. Joe on Instagram. She just recently just this week tried out the no box art box challenge as well and tagged me in her post. That is so cool. Thank you for sharing with us. All right, let's get this open. As you can see from the massive pile of pens here, something is going on with this box. What's happening? Well, you know these guys, the Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend markers? They make these as watercolor markers as well. And in the April 2022 sketch box, the premium box got a whole three pack, so nine colors, and the basic box got two of the markers in that three pack. So don't worry, I will be holding up all of these close to the screen up here in the corner for a little close up as I talk about the supplies. Both both tiers got a blue watercolor ink. They are different brands in each box and this is neither of them. I am using the Marabou Aqua Ink Graphics and this is Ultramarine Dark. As you can tell I'm using my Karen Brush Marker Pros in place of the Spectrum Noir Tricolors. Both boxes have a different brand of a brush liner in a brown color so I am using this Brunzeal Expressions pen. By the way, thank you Jude so much. This came in the art box takeover that she sent and that was the other video earlier this week. Go watch it if you missed it. Both tiers got the same travel water brush, not this one. I am using a Derwent basic water brush, the kind with the, you know, different hairs in the brush nib. Both tiers got a Caran d'Ache water brush and they got the fiber nib, so something more like the brush nib on these pens. Which means, technically, if I wanted to get closer to the box, I could just get one of the blenders from this set. And of course, since this is water-based, watercolor paper is required. The premium box did get hot press watercolor paper from Fluid Art, so I will be using mine. This is not the correct size. I'll go over that shortly. The base tier got Ecoline, I believe, which is a cold press. I'm going to start making art here on the main screen. We will have close-ups up here in the corner as I talk about the supplies. Let's go! So, what is the No Box Art Box Challenge, you may be wondering? If so, you're probably new here. Hi, welcome, thank you so much for coming. If you like this content, please consider subscribing so you don't miss more of it. The No Box Art Box Challenge is a challenge where you recreate the experience of an art supply subscription box using items you already own. There are so many reasons to do this challenge. I started it because I was a little bit late to the subscription box game. All of the big companies that were out at the time had already done like 20, 30 boxes and I wanted to catch up. I wanted to experience the ones that I didn't know about in time to buy. These days I continue the challenge because I, I did these subscription boxes for like three years at this point. I know which mediums and which brands I like. I have a ton of all of it, even the ones I don't like, and I don't have a whole lot of extra money to be throwing around at this kind of thing. So rather than subscribe constantly and get more of what I don't need for money I could have spent on something else or saved, I just pick and choose backlist boxes when I see a new month that I like. But other reasons you could do this challenge as well, maybe you want to test drive a company before you actually buy. Maybe the first time you're doing subscription boxes, maybe a new company that came out. Maybe you're already subscribed to one and you want to try the other but you can't afford to do both at the same time and you're too impatient to wait for your subscription to run out. Maybe you're just looking for inspiration, you want some ideas, or you want some ideas for the things that you have at the back of your storage box whatever and you never use. Or maybe you really really liked that one scrawler box that you got three years ago and you don't have half the stuff anymore you want to try it again. So many reasons. So if you want to do this challenge, step one, pick any art or craft subscription box service, pick a month that already shipped, and look up the contents. Step two, match the contents as close as possible using items that you already own. Don't go shopping in order to match a box, that is not the point. Use what you've got. You are allowed to use exact matches as long as you're not using this challenge to re-experience a box that you actually got in the past. In that case, use the next closest match if at all possible. Step three, 
make art. If the original box had a challenge prompt or a theme, try to stick to that. Otherwise, just make art using only the items that you have matched for the challenge and only add missing essentials such as pencil or a piece of paper. If you share your art from the No Box Art Box challenge anywhere on social media, use the hashtag No Box Art Box so that we can all see it. And if you make a YouTube video, feel free to send me the link because I have a master playlist for this challenge and I would love to add your video to it. And as a disclaimer, in case anybody's wondering, sometimes people do ask, you don't have to do boxes that I have already done or that anybody else has already done. You can do this challenge for any box and like I create it for art and craft boxes, but if you can find a way to make this work for other types of subscription boxes, go ahead, try it out. So let's talk about the box contents now. As per usual with all of my art box videos, the real ones, the recreated ones, all of them, I am going to have all of the numbers in the description box down below. What I do is I look up the MSRP or RRP, in this case US company MSRP. We get the MSRP in US dollars, Canadian dollars, and pounds sterling, but we also look up what these items cost in the wild. If you look for them on major online retailers for all three currency regions, we can look at the list price total, we can look at the sale price total, we can compare that to what you're paying to subscribe to the box and have it shipped to you, and we can determine whether or not the box is financially a good deal on paper for subscribers in the US, in Canada, and in the UK for all of the different subscription lengths. Do keep Keep in mind whenever I do these numbers that this is not a definitive this was a good or bad box. Part of the value of this box is the fact that it's curated for you, the supplies are all meant to go together, and the fact that it's a surprise and it might be brands that you can't get a hold of where you are. So there's more than just the number value, but I provide that number value because that is really easy, simple math that we can do right out of the gate and sometimes it is a big enough difference that the other things do or don't matter as much. So for the basic box, the paper in the basic box was a Royal Talents Ecoline watercolor pad. I am estimating the MSRP because I could not find that recorded anywhere else. Estimating based on what's normal in a basic tier box and what the larger standard size pads of this paper are. I'm calling calling it $9 US. It's a custom pad for Sketchbox, so obviously I could not find this in the wild anywhere. This is a 4 by 6 inches 12 sheet pad of 300 GSM cold press watercolor paper. It's gonna be student grade, it's probably a cellulose paper, it doesn't make bold claims to be cotton anywhere that I was looking. I may be wrong, so don't take my word for that. Plus customers got fluid 100 watercolor paper. This is a, again, a custom size 4 by 7. It's a 300 GSM cotton and watercolor paper and it is hot press. And I was able to see on Sketchbox's Instagram actually that that custom size in the hot press is $13 US. What I am using in its place is the Fluid Watercolor Paper Hot Press Finish Easy Block, 15 sheets, 6 by 8. And you will see in the preview tile up in the corner that uh, I have another painting left here on the block from some other time. I, I remember painting this painting, but I don't remember what it was for and I did not sign a date on it. I'm gonna have to go back and look at my older videos to figure this out because it, it's a block. It's glued on two sides. I have to take this off now. <laughs> Let's talk about the markers because that's going to get messy. The plus box, like I said, they got a full three pack. The basic box got two of the tricolor markers in that pack. Interestingly enough, everybody got the same colors. So I'm not sure how this worked out for Sketchbox. I'm not sure how they swung this deal because if you go on Spectrum Noir's website, these are only sold in three packs. So it would make sense if the basic box got randomized two of the three. But if I'm understanding the Sketchbox Hall Pass videos correctly, everybody getting basic got the same two. <laughs> anyway, so the plus box got the Floral Meadow pack. Looking on Spectrum Noir's own website, it says a unique and innovative new way to watercolor. Three colors in one for an instant mini color palette. In vivid water soluble hues that will mix and blend with ease. Brush tipped and highly portable, 
perfect for outdoor sketching. So this palette, the Floral Meadow, $14.99 US by the way, MSRP for all of the three packs. The Floral Meadow palette has the Bright Floral combo, the Warm Fiery combo, and the Fresh Verdant combo. Bright Floral is a nice bright pink, a pale warm yellow, and kind of a medium toned warm purple. So I am using Karen Brush Marker Pros to replace all of these. I am using Cerise, Pale Orange, and Red Lilac. For Warm Fiery, I am using Amber, Fire Red, and Lipstick Red. And for Fresh Verdant, I am using Lush Green, Grass, and Apple. For the basic tier, they got the Bright Floral and the Fresh Verdant, which means we throw out these ones. Everybody did get the Caran d'Ache Fiber Tip Water Brush, as I already mentioned. It's a very fancy travel water brush. I'm using a travel water brush from Derwent. This is a very standard water brush. You just unscrew the brush nib from the top and you put water in the barrel. Very, very simple and it is a paintbrush type nib on the end with the individual hairs in it. The Caran d'Ache fiber tip, first of all, the tip is like the felt nibs on my Karen markers. So like I already said, I could have pulled out a blender marker from the Karen and it would serve the same purpose. The second thing that's different about it, it has a helix screw pump inside. So you actually dip the end of the reservoir in water and turn the barrel so that the that screw helix pulls and sucks water into the reservoir, which is really interesting. I have one brush that does that. It's more of a Chinese calligraphy style brush, so I don't really use it. But yeah, interesting choice for a subscription box. It would be cool to play with that. Those are worth 9.85 US MSRP. Everybody got a pot of ink. The basic box got the Spectrum Noir Aquatint Ink Pot in the color Moonstone, which is kind of a medium blue and we are told that that ink is exactly the same as the ink in the tricolor markers. A single pot works out to $6.62 US if you calculate from the MSRPs on the three packs. Interestingly enough, I could not find this on Spectrum Noir's website and I actually, I only have that MSRP from Mr. Arch, so not even a retailer I normally look at. It's very hard to find this now, but I do know from Weblight Dreams, doing walkthroughs of places like Ross and Tuesday Morning and those kind of places down in the USA that these kind of stuff, it does show up in stores and it's usually very, very cheap compared to these MSRPs I'm seeing. But interestingly, I cannot find it on any of the big art retailers and it's not on their own website. So I'm wondering if this is actually a, either an extremely new variation on the product or a product that's being discontinued. Plus customers got basically the same thing, but theirs comes from Royal Talents Equal Line and it is the liquid watercolor in ultramarine blue. The MSRP is $6.95 US. So equivalent value added to the box. And as I mentioned in the very beginning in our little full unboxing, I am using Marabou Aqua Graphics Ink in the shade Ultramarine Dark 055. Last but not least, the brush pen. Everybody did get a brush pen in a brown color. Basic Box got the Spectrum Noir Artline brush pen and they got it just labeled in the color brown. Based on six packs of the mixed technical and brush nibs, this has an MSRP of $3. I cannot find anywhere online that you would be able to buy those pens individually, not in a pack, and on Spectrum Noir's own website, they only sell them in black in a pack. So again, not really sure what's going on with the Spectrum Noir offerings in this box. Plus got a Faber-Castell Pit Artist Brush Pen in the color Walnut Brown. That has an MSRP of $3.70. Definitely a higher quality product and the price tag reflects that. I did consider using an actual Pit Brush Pen, but none of my Pit Pens are brown. So I pulled out the Brunzeal Expressions Double-Ended Brush pen from the Venice collection. There's no individual color information on that packaging, so I'm not sure what this is called. It's just the darkest, most brownest shade in the Venice six pack. This does have two ends. It has a longer fiber brush nib, felt nib on one end, and it has a tapered plastic semi-rigid nib like a Micron PN on the other end. Since we are mimicking something that is more of a felt nib, 
I am going to only use the felt nibbed end. And I'm sure you can already tell what I have decided to draw. I am filming this voiceover pre-art as I tend to do these days. I think it's going to be floral. I don't want you to think that the painting I've taken off this pad influenced that. That's coincidental. I forgot that was there. I am going floral because of the name of the color palette of the Spectrum Noir markers that we're mimicking here. By the way, I also wanted to mention, uh, since I'm using the Karen Brush Marker Pro markers, and I don't think I've mentioned this in a video yet, if you recently saw my brush marker showdown video, one commenter did let me know that I made a math error in the watercolor section. The Karen Brush Marker markers, I claimed that they won the category by two points, and there were two or three other really good brands that like I was surprised didn't win that had they were all tied for second and actually commenter is right I don't know what I was looking at to get a wrong number but Karen actually tied with the Faber-Castell Albrecht Durer and a couple of others in the event of an honest tie <laughs> I do still pick the Karens. I do still think that they edge out the other ones, partly in price, partly in just the wide variety of colors available, partly because they are a dedicated brush pen. Everything else has a bullet or a chisel end. I'm also absolutely convinced the fact that this barrel is just a open reservoir of liquid ink, this has a lot more product in it than all of the other professional brush pens because those undoubtedly are built like an alcohol marker or like a Crayola where they have a tube of felt in the center that has soaked up all of the ink and it's slowly seeping through the nibs on either end to release it. You don't get as much ink in those to begin with and you're also never going to get all of it out. So the Karen markers are more economical in that sense. But that's not this video and I'm sure I've talked way too long. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you will try the Nobox Art challenge if you've been thinking about it or if you're just hearing about it for the first time. Christy and Amy, both people who I shouted out in the beginning of the video, go check them out. If I forget to link them in the description box and or the pinned comment, yell at me in the comments and I will correct it when I get home from the cabin after Sunday. If you're looking for more to watch, I've got some suggestions up on the left side of the screen now. Don't forget to like, comment, maybe even subscribe, and if you like living life creatively, whatever that means to you, I'd love to have you along for the ride. Bye guys.